What is up, everybody? It's Easy, Easy Street Gaming. I guess three hours are up. <laughs> if you watched the last video, you know what kind of debacle that was. So the biggest prize of all the events is in the post-war event that's followed following any server war. It's the re rewards for stamina consumption. It's not easy to get either. 60 skull piles. If you're new or newer to the game, you're probably thinking, what exactly do I need 60 skull piles for? The last time I upgraded the Hall of War, I needed 7. Well, as you progress further and further into the game, you need more and more for the Hall of War. And it is insane how much it costs once you get up to level 24, 25, 23, 24, 25. To give you any indication, I've been playing for a long time. I'm at 16. <laughs> Granted, I, I, I'm not a player versus player attacker. So it's not as important for me necessarily, but it is important if you are want to take advantage of all aspects of the game. Difficult level of uh, of acquiring the skull piles is a ten, straight up ten. Why? We well, only get ten or twenty a week from the. You get them from the traveling merchant. You also get like I don't know five or ten a week from that little squirrel. You'll catch his nut. Kind of odd. So here it is. This is right before I did my last upgrade. This is, I'm at Hall of War 15, now when I maxed out all, of, or got all of the resources that I needed, it cost about 7,000 gems for me to get to 16 from 15, so that, that's, a, that's a lot of gems to commit for 15 to 16, now granted 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, that's a, I need 8 more levels to get to 24, you need 24 I believe we get to 25. Yeah, I need, I need, I need uh, Hall of War 24 to upgrade my Stronghold to 25. I think it's the same for everyone. So here's a list if you want to just pause it or whatever. Here's the skull piles per Hall of War level. It starts off slow. For level two, you need one. For three, you need two. Four, five. When you get up to 14 over here on the right-hand side. You need 400, and they cost 15 gems a piece. I. You can get them from the traveling merchant. He'll give them to you 50% off sometimes, but you're talking about four or five at a time normally. I've heard from other players that if you refresh the merchant many times that you'll get a large amount of these. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know how much valid validity is to that. I was on server 323. I was asking some of the more experienced players uh, what it costs because I don't really have access or as far as what it costs for gems, I don't know how much, how many piles you need, but uh, that answer was pretty scary. Basically, it costs about fifty thousand gems, and that's if you have your building at like I think he said he had his. Uh, I believe it was King Kevin that said uh, to get his. He had his building at one hundred and ninety percent, and then. It cost him 50,000 gems. That's not, that's no small amount. Talk to Hobbs. Yeah, no, these are all big players. Hobbs, 600,000, 600 million player, I think. Something like that. Four, 600 million. He, th he thought it was 30k. That's, it, it's been that long since he got up to 25. <laughs> but what he did was he got, he used the relics. He hunted relics for a while. And he got the gems off the relics. Now that's a, that's a lot of hunting relics. Personally, I get like anxiety from popping these relics because there's so many of them. I, I feel like I can never get them all. If you're watching what's flying across the top, next video, already preparing for it. Got some great replays for everybody. We got the panda that everyone's going to have access to. Uh, if you've been signing in every day, like most people have, then you'll have access to panda as well. It's in about another week and a half or so, I think. Yeah, it's Panda Poe. And green is a monster. I got. I don't know, three or four replays of green. I've also got some other kind of unique uh, partners in the replays. So pretty good stuff. I'm trying to make the videos a little shorter for everyone. I know how I know it's difficult for a lot of people with their busy schedules to sit through a 20 or 30 minute video. So un unless it's an actual partner guide, I want to try to keep them eight, 10 minutes. They may seem long. I may say it's longer just to give you some uh, background, I guess. Uh, 
but I have a lot of stuff at the end of the videos that if you're interested you watch it if not you know the video itself is probably seven or eight minutes long then we gotta talk some trash at the end sub so, to the channel if you haven't already I got you know I've been I've been so busy at work I rehab houses for any of you that don't know and been so busy that I haven't been able to put out the videos like I've been wanting to uh, at all yet I've had more people subscribe than ever and I've just flattered and I want to thank everyone that subscribed believe it or not we will start putting out a video about every other day as soon as I can once I figure out what I'm doing at work <laughs> if you've been reading up top I, I don't want to read it all I think because I had to transcribe it all I don't know but <laughs> we were just trying to discuss exactly what it was to get to the Hall of War 24 25 it's a very large commitment for me it's really hard because that means I have to allocate those gems away from spinning turtles which is my open everyone knows my addiction <laughs> to the Hall of War which is like I don't, I don't want to attack anyone anyway other servers sure but my own no so the easiest way to get the final rewards in the post-war event remember you have to use a lot of stamina is you have to move one of your outposts out over to the edge of the map there are times where I'll even move two outposts over there because if I have to use an advanced teleport to get over to the edge of the map to where I want, because I'm trying to get to some place that has a lot of level one monsters, it, it takes ten to hunt them. I'm not the kind that really wants to leave a bunch of uh, of you know you you can attack them and then leave all the resources on the ground for everyone else to pick up. I won't do that. So by hunting the level ones, it usually takes me between five and ten minutes to collect them. Uh, if you have four or five marches, it doesn't take too long. The problem that you will run into is running out of stamina. If you don't have a lot of stamina, you just won't make it to the end. You could also get lucky and have uh, the event like the T-Rex event. It, it, it has started at the same time before. His red running the mouth. It's uh, the ultimate battle. It's not the T-Rex event. That's where uh, you'll attack the Era Tyrannosaurus. That's the special boss. Uh, it's the special boss that will give you the era outpost, I believe it's called. Happy now. She bitches too much, I'll tell you that. Still my favorite partner. For now. <laughs> so, you move your outpost over to the corner. Sometimes you'll want to move two. That way you can use friendly uh, teleports. And you'll basically stretch out as far as you can with two outposts and you can use some friendlies to move, maneuver yourself. That's just to make it easier for you to to attack the monsters, keep them close. If you have a bunch of, it, it, you know, if you do server war, if you the horde invasion, and you do any kind of temple rallies, you may have millions of clan coins. There, therefore, you can buy a lot of these uh, teleports. If you don't, then you, you're going to want to try to maneuver without using teleports because they cost a thousand uh, a million clan coins a piece uh, now I, I attacked this from my from a, a secondary account and once I did it's a level one monster it takes me 10 minutes to gather now it's gonna vary for everybody depending on what you have is for your bonuses with your runes and with your talents and everything like that so a lot of it varies but it is pretty quick. You want to move to the edge. Collect level 1s. You're going to have to collect a lot of them to get to the bonus. A lot. Do some calculations. Make sure you don't come right near the end and can't finish. You'll really hate me for that. Get those 60 gem pile, uh, those sixty skull piles as many times as possible. You really want to. It will help you get to the Hall of War. Number 25. Sub to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate everyone that has. Next video. Got a lot of really cool partners including Panda Poe. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret on how you can use the partner arena to show yourself all of the elite partners. Just use what they do. All in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.